We know things don't always go as planned when you're trying to catch a flight. The worst. Uh -huh. oh, like when the airline overbooks, you could end up getting bumped from your flight. Has that happened to you? Not what you want, but if that happens, the question, are airlines required to pay you? Well, Josh Sadorowitz is here to verify a viral post to let you know what's true or what's not. You had your arms crossed, Josh. I well, luckily, I've never been in that situation, but I can imagine frustrating, right, to be bumped. Mm -hmm. So a TikTok user here shared that claim to more than 800,000 people that if you get bumped from a flight, you could get more than $1,500. But can you really get paid cash if the airline bumps you from your flight? Well, first here, it is important to know a bump flight is when you are denied boarding when the airline oversells seats. This isn't if, like, there's a weather delay or something like that. Our Verify team used information from the Department of Transportation. Also spoke with Daniel Armbruster, a spokesperson with AAA. Listen. It's a rare practice. Less than 1% of passengers are impacted, but occasionally airlines do have to bump passengers uh, because a flight is oversold. And that's the key component here. Was your flight oversold? So, uh, you know, weather can't uh, impact it. So the Department of Transportation's website shows that airlines must ask for volunteers in exchange for compensation, which could also be like a voucher. So yes, airlines are required to pay you for bump flights if the arrival time is delayed by more than one hour. I have taken the voucher before. You've taken the if voucher. If you have the time. Works. Yeah, if you got the time. I don't, I don't have way. the time. <laughs> so, so what if you don't volunteer? Well, it, you can still get bumped. Okay. It can happen. Uh, the DOT website shows that an airline is required to compensate you after involuntarily bumping you from an oversold flight. <laughs> but notice it says in certain situations there, because there are many situations where you are not entitled to compensation. So it lists charters, small aircraft, some international flights. Uh, plus, you also must have a confirmed reservation, obviously. You must be checked in and at your gate on time. Ah. And the airline can't get you to your destination again within that one hour of your flight's original arrival. So you can't time. be running through the like Home Alone style through the yeah, airport. No, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. <laughs> so time is money here. So how much are you entitled to potentially? So it all depends on that arrival time, right? And how much you've been delayed. So if it is less than an hour, you're not getting anything. One to two hours, it's double your one-way fare up to $775, which isn't too bad. And then more than two hours, Hopefully you're not. Yeah. Uh, Four hundred percent of that one-way fare up to fifteen hundred bucks. I hope y'all were taking notes. All Compensation right. it's is on, key here. It's on our website. That's if you right. Go yeah. that's, a, that's a lot of information. Yes. Good stuff, Thanks, though. Yeah. And thank you.